Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of T-365, where I demystify Microsoft solutions for the MSP space. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to deploy the Data RMM agent via Microsoft Intune or Endpoint Manager. This is extremely powerful when you're utilizing the autopilot service so that you could ship a device to a user, allow them to boot that up, and have all the apps, including your RMM agent, pushed down to that device, and immediately report back into your admin portal as well. Before I get into today's video, if you do want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space, be sure to subscribe. So I'm here within the admin center of Datto and there's just a couple of pieces of information that you'll need here to grab. What we're doing is deploying a PowerShell script via Endpoint Manager and it is taking in a couple of variables that are unique to your environment, one of which is going to be the site ID for a particular customer, so you'll want to grab that from here. The other of which is just your platform, aka your location ID here that's in the prefix of your URL. And if you're in the US, it'll reflect this here. So those are just a couple of pieces you need. The script is actually up on Datto here as part of their help guide, which I'll paste below. Essentially though, you're going to copy and paste this into an editor like ISC or Visual Studio Code, and you'll put in your platform and site ID and you'll save this as a PS1 file that you can access here. So now that we have the settings configured on this side or we grab the necessary information, let's pop into a customer's Endpoint Manager Admin Center to finish the configuration. So I'm here within the Endpoint Manager Admin Center for a particular customer. One consideration before we actually start creating the settings for the PowerShell script is who you're going to assign it to. With Intune, you could assign it to all devices, you could assign it to certain users or certain groups. What I would recommend is if you go into groups, you have the ability here to create a new group and you could have it to be a security group and the membership type is a dynamic device. This is also what Data recommends in their documentation, but essentially a dynamic device is something that you could query off of so you don't have to constantly revisit updating this uh, group itself with new computers or users or anything like that. It is optional for you to do this, but you could say that the device OS type is containing and then put the value of Windows here. And this will dynamically grab all of the Windows devices so that you could push that down. You could also just scope this uniquely to autopilot devices or something like that but this gives you the ability to add this particular syntax and save so that whenever you do this, you can just add a unique name there and it has your query and you may want to just add an admin user as the owner for this particular section. Click on create. And so this will go ahead and add all those devices in there. It'll take about five minutes before you actually see them populate but whenever you go under there, you'll be able to see this information as far as the members goes. Initially, again, it takes just a couple of minutes to pull that up. I've already done this though for the sake of this demo previously, and it's called Win 10 Devices. And in here, I have a list of all my Win 10 devices that have been enrolled into the Intune service. So that's just one thing I'd recommend if you think about long-term deployment and management of this particular script itself. So next we're going to go under Windows and we're going to click on PowerShell scripts and from here, again, I've already created this for the purpose of this demo, but you're going to click on Add. And you can call this whatever you like. We call it Data Agent for uniqueness here. And then you're going to select your script that you have saved as a PS1 file previously and you're going to set all of these to No. So let me add the script real quick and be right back. Okay, so I've added that here. Data RMM PS1 is what I called it there. You'll leave the rest of these at no. Click on next. And for your assignments, you could add your group that you've added for the deployment. So it could be when the 10 devices that we just had there, or this is obviously customizable to you. Or you could add it to all devices, but that's usually not the best way to deploy these things. So whenever you're done, you can click on review and add, and that will add this in your particular profile. Now once that's done, I'll go back into the one I created here. This PowerShell agent has run, and I have two devices that have succeeded. Those are two devices that I booted up and pushed this out towards. 
that are part of that Win 10 device group. And so you can see individual device status here as well. It's in a succeeded state. And you can see individual user status as well if we know the user associated to that device. If for some reason this fails, there's a couple of troubleshooting steps I'll show you on the device itself. But keep in mind, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour to actually start reporting back here and deploy. One of the things that you could do to try to speed things up is go into the devices section and in the devices section, click on a device of which you've deployed this to and click on the sync button up at the top. It'll start that Intune syncing cycle. Can't say that it's extremely helpful in all cases, but it does help speed this up as far as coming back in the reporting section. Now, once this is deployed, you'll start to see those endpoints within DataRMM, but if it is in a failed status, Intune doesn't do a good job today about reporting back on that for PowerShell necessarily. So if you see this is in a failed status for your particular device, underneath here, you're not going to be able to click into it to see any type of log data, which is kind of a bummer. So let's pop into a particular device so I can show you where you would see this log data. So I'm here on a device that was enrolled and I can go under the program data folder here under the C drive and I can traverse into Microsoft and then I will scroll down into Intune Management Extension, Logs, and then Intune Management Extension again here. Now this again is just a text file so it's not great but the one thing that you can do is search for Datto and you'll eventually find, if you go under here enough, the output of what was already discovered from the scripts and also you can figure out the script right here as well too as far as the basic log entry of it running and anything that uh, was occurring as well. So I particularly went in and put a you know a typo in the script just so it would fail and it wasn't as descriptive as I wanted it to be in this particular sense. It said 404 not found, but it did give me the option to actually see this output within this log file itself. If you have more extensive error messages, I'd recommend just running it locally first just to make sure that it's working um, without having to modify the script and then rerun it again against the endpoint manager uh, platform as well. So those are just basic troubleshooting steps. It's a really straightforward script. And so if as long as you don't have any trailing white spaces or anything wrong with your uh, platform or site ID, then that should go through just fine without any issues. That's everything I wanted to showcase for you guys in this video though. If you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, like or subscribe if you wanna see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks guys, have a great day.